video. Um, today I'm going to uh, explain uh, how to get uh, started with Web Starter Kit. If you could see this, uh, this is Google's uh, developers website where you could get this uh, download downloadable Web Starter Kit. Go ahead and download this uh, Web Starter Kit initially and then in parallel uh, you could go ahead and install ruby uh, from this website rubyinstaller.org and pick up the right version based on your uh, pc configuration let me download and quickly get back to you once uh, these things are done okay the downloading is done and uh, i'm installing uh, this ruby installer Let's take some time. In the meantime, I will show you the drive where uh, this Google Web Starter Kit has been downloaded. I have extracted the zip file and you could see uh, the files over here and the HTML files and all are uh, resided over here in app. We will get back to this in a couple of uh, minutes. Okay, I am just uh, done installing with this uh, Ruby let me quickly go through let's check whether uh, this ruby has installed properly or not okay this ruby has been successfully installed you could see this uh, i was uh, able to check the version so that is uh, pretty good uh, let me install uh, uh, sas oh, okay this takes a couple of uh, time in oh, i'm facing some error just give me a second i think the problem is with uh, https it was unable to access because it is, it is secured connection okay let me uh, type some queries uh, which resolves this i'm actually switching back to the normal uh, HTTP uh, version. Okay, yes. It shouldn't take much time. After this, we will try to install Gem SAS. Yeah, okay, that is done and let me go ahead and install sas in the meantime let us uh, download this node.js let's check where we are with this sas installation yes, yes it is getting installed it shouldn't take this much time okay i'm done let's check uh, what version we have got, we got this as installed so. okay detect so sas is successfully installed 
the node.js is uh, downloaded so let me go ahead and install this quickly Okay, once uh, Node.js is done, uh, uh, we should make sure that couple of uh, modules are installed in your PC. So, once this uh, installation is done, we'll go over it. Okay, Node.js is installed. Let me go back to this command prompt. Okay, let's check where I have installed. Let's go to the dri drive where I installed this uh, Google Web Starter Kit. Uh, okay, let me cross check. Okay, that's the right di drive. And once we are here, we should uh, make sure that some node modules are installed. To do this, uh, uh, do the following. Uh, just type the following command. npm is not recognized let me check node.js is installed or not no let me go it which should detect I just figured out the problem actually the node.js is installed only for this particular user so I was just going through this uh, particular environment and I have moved all this google web starter kit files to the particular user uh, folder and when I did uh, type a command uh, node uh, minus v so you could uh, uh, check the version over here so let me go ahead and uh, quickly install this uh, node modules which are required it would take a couple of minutes uh, i would get back to you in a while okay you could see uh, node modules are successfully installed uh, let me go ahead and install couple of uh, uh, gulp modules which uh, are required for this let me type this query and show you where all uh, these modules are installed okay let's go ahead and i will show you okay here you could see like uh, the node underscore module so we have successfully installed that module so no doubt in that and uh, i guess we are even done with this gulp stuff okay let's go ahead and uh, uh, start this uh, server let's see let's start with this uh, web starter kit Gulp is not recognized. Something wrong. Let me get back to you. Okay, I could just figure out that uh, I just made a typo. Let me run this again. It will take a couple of minutes, and uh, once this is installed, I guess we should uh, get ready with the web starter kit. Let me go ahead and sh in the meantime, let me go ahead and show you this app folder where you could see this HTMLs and all. Okay, you could see this uh, index HTML which is the uh, landing page uh, for this uh, Google Web Starter Kit. Once this gulp, gulp module is uh, installed successfully, yes, this is done. We could go ahead and uh, uh, check this, uh, launch this starter kit for the first time it's starting styles compiling the styles via source successfully done i guess should be launching in just a couple of seconds it's compiling the css right means
okay yeah here we are it's working successfully okay let me uh, show you some good feature of this let me open the same url in another browser you could see over here right okay let me put them side by side and uh, i would like to show you some good feature which uh, this web starter kit offers for web developers okay okay if you could observe the uh, both the windows whatever the action i perform here it does the same in the another browser this is the beauty of uh, this web starter kit uh, i really love this and this really help uh, helps when we are uh, doing browser compatibility stuff uh, so we can simultaneously check the actions in uh, different browsers uh, and devices in single time when you operate uh, this local host and along with this gulp serve only i think we are good and i will get back to you with how to go ahead and uh, modify css and uh, styles etc in the next sections i hope uh, it was very useful if so request you to put some comments over there